Kandaburis defends Kenya more amid controversial firing from Real Housewives of Atlanta. The recent developments on The Real Housewives of Atlanta IHOA, have sparked significant controversy and public interest, particularly surrounding the suspension and subsequent firing of Kenya Moore. Kandaburis, a longtime cast member who recently departed the series, has openly defended Moore, providing a nuanced perspective on the incident. This detailed analysis will delve into the main points of the situation, offering additional context and critique where appropriate. Kenya Moore was suspended and later fired from IHOA season 16 for allegedly sharing explicit images of new castmate Brittany Eady during a cast event. The images, reportedly depicting Eady in a compromising position, were unveiled by Moore at her salon grand opening, shocking attendees and viewers alike. The incident raised questions about the boundaries of acceptable behavior on reality television and the ethical implications of sharing such images. Kandaburis, who has been a prominent figure on IHOA for 14 seasons, has come forward to defend more. In an interview with Page Six Virtual Really T podcast, Burris emphasized that Moore did not fabricate the images, but rather pulled them from publicly accessible online sources. Burris acknowledged that Moore's actions were not the nicest thing to do, but argued that they were not unprecedented in the context of reality TV, which often thrives on sensationalism and conflict. Burris's defense hinges on the notion that reality TV participants cannot dictate the severity of the backlash they receive. She suggests that Moore's response, while extreme, was provoked by earlier threats from Edie. This perspective highlights the unpredictable nature of reality TV dynamics, where personal conflicts are often amplified for dramatic effect. The ethical implications of Moore's actions are complex. Sharing explicit images, even if publicly accessible, raises serious questions about privacy and consent. Moore's defense, that she would never engage in revenge porn, indicates an awareness of these ethical boundaries. However, the act of displaying such images in a public forum, especially during a filmed event, blurs the line between personal vendetta and public shaming. Public perception of the incident has been mixed. Some viewers, as noted by Burris, are critical of Moore's actions, while others see it as par for the course in the high-stakes world of reality television. This dichotomy reflects broader societal debates about the limits of acceptable behavior on TV and the responsibilities of public figures to uphold certain standards. Moore's suspension and firing mark a significant turning point in her career on IHOA. Despite the controversy, Burris notes that Moore appears to be coping well with the fallout. Burris's own departure from the show adds another layer of complexity, as it removes a key ally and stabilizing force from the cast. The incident also has implications for IHOA as a whole. The show, known for its dramatic and often contentious interactions, faces the challenge of balancing sensational content with ethical considerations. Moore's firing signals a potential shift in how the show handles such incidents, possibly indicating stricter enforcement of boundaries to protect cast members' dignity and privacy. The Moore incident is reflective of broader trends in reality TV, where the line between entertainment and exploitation is often thin. Reality TV thrives on conflict and sensationalism, but incidents like this one force producers and networks to reassess their responsibilities towards cast members and viewers. The ethical considerations around privacy, consent, and the potential harm caused by public shaming are becoming increasingly relevant in the age of digital media, where content can spread rapidly and have lasting impacts. Kandaburis's defense of Kenya Moore provides a critical lens through which to view the recent controversy on IHOA. While acknowledging the problematic nature of Moore's actions, Burris argues for a more nuanced understanding of the dynamics at play in reality TV. The incident raises important ethical questions about privacy, consent, and the responsibilities of public figures and producers in the realm of unscripted television. As RHOA and other reality shows navigate these complex issues, it is crucial to strike a balance between entertaining content and ethical responsibility. 
The Kenya Moore incident serves as a reminder of the potential consequences of sensationalism and the need for a more thoughtful approach to reality TV production and cast management.